Hey again, YouTube. Well, you know, I hadn't made a little video for a little while, so I thought I'd chirp in. And, as usual, Jay has given me a good thing to think about. And that is, what would I do with my last five minutes? If I knew I had it, that is. And I suppose my first instinct is to say, tell my mother that I love her, my father, and, you know, say goodbye. And aside from that, I'm not exactly sure. Can't imagine. Maybe I'd light up a pipe and try and enjoy it. Because I wouldn't want to spend my last five minutes crying, weeping, and thus just laboring over it. Because it's only, I'm only five minutes. So what do you, what do I do? I suppose I'll light up my pipe and play my guitar. Yeah, after saying goodbye, just tell him not to worry. Maybe I'll talk to my brother, leave him my pipe collection. Yeah, I think I could do that. Because that's about it. I, at least let someone know I want my brother to have it. Oh, and housekeeping. Smoking this corn cob I bought just for this occasion. I'll get to that in a second. With some Brigham Balkan. Oh, and Dave, Buckeye. You'll know this already, but I sent your package out. Just in case you see this video before you get my message. I want you to know about that. So I can't show it to you before it goes, but I assure you, everything fits together right. The uh, It doesn't wiggle. I believe I've got it centered just right, which is good. The part I was most worried about. So you can rotate it. It's not exactly a smooth operation on the rotation, but that's down to the swivel plate. There's nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. The swivel plate comes attached. It's all put together. You can take it apart and do some extra sanding if you like. But, that'll, that'll be about that. You'll probably have to take it apart anyway, too. Uh, stain it and that's not that hard it you know some screws they're under the felt pads on the bottom I put those there just to cover up screw holes and so it would the uh, plate wouldn't be rattling around and you know I hope you get a kick out of the box because <laughs> I didn't have a box that would fit so you know I had to improvise you'll see when you get it and Jay, since this is a video I'm responding to of yours. I told you on your combination of pipe and cigar smoking that I was going to uh, retaliate, start a war for uh, domination over that. And uh, that's why I got this, because grits what I'm doing here. See, what I got here is something I put together. Oh, uh, yeah, I built a cigar box guitar. <laughs> Ain't nothing special. It's, uh, I'm not sure what this wood is. It's found material. And as, as you can see, it's got a coach bolt for the bridge. Neck through design. Single coil that I had laying around. And tuning pegs I had laying around. Another bolt for the nut. Three strings, old strings. So, this, uh, I got the, the cigar box from my local B&M, 
and I'm a, as a pipe smoker, a regular customer and the only one local. So he, uh, you know, he gave me this for free. It's uh, not a very big box, so it had to be uh, electrified. You don't get much of a sound out of it without uh, electrification. Tune to open E right now. Where do you, uh, music guys? But let's, uh, get some blues. A little bluesy sound. I'm playing this, uh, through my Roland amplifier from the 80s that so I inherited. Well, not so what inherited, it was given to me. So, this is going to be a free jam. Five minutes to live. My entry into your into the coming war for the combination of cigar and pipe smoking. As we know, this guitar wouldn't be here without cigar smoking. And there we have it. That's why I picked the corn cob pipe because it's uh, it matches the cigar box. I'll improvise. <laughs> saying before that cut. One thing I'll say about this is I believe the neck is poplar. I believe it's a poplar neck. And that's not a hardwood, so it kind of has the uh, action from hell. So it makes it a slide only. And that's okay. It uh, performs well, I think. Has a good sound. I mean, I like it. Oh, you do it. That's okay. Yeah, good sound. 19 to the body. 19 frets. Frets. They're just drawn on there with a pencil. They're just a, a suggestion. Yeah, you, know, you gotta, you gotta do these things. Oh man, I guess that's about it. Till next time, enjoy every sandwich. <laughs>